Hello all, and welcome to Night Rips. And we've got another opening of 2021 Topps Update Hanger Pack. So far, every box of this I have opened has been pretty good. Uh, not the crazy stuff that I have seen, you know, people tweeting about, but you never know. I know whenever, whenever this came out, this, these packs came out a little bit early. Uh, Barnes & Noble was putting these out almost a week before they started re they actually released the set. But people were pulling some really, really crazy stuff out of this. Oh, go ahead and let, give you a chance to see the odds. If you want to pause that. Odds are okay. When you, when you figure that each one of those packs is basically just one of these, it does tell you... It, it does, odds are not super great, but there's 67 cards in here. So the chance of pulling something great, it's low, but the odds of pulling something is actually pretty decent. I always look real close to see right off the bat if there's anything that's jumping out at me. It doesn't look like there's a relic, but we'll go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to... Go ahead and put base cards, rookie debuts, and rookies separate piles. Makes it easier for sorting later. Here's your German Mercedes. And here's the rookie debut of Jared Kelenic. Very nice. There's a lot of really good rookies in there, though. Obviously, um, Jonathan India is in here, who is the rookie of the year. Jared Kellenick's in here. Uh, quite a few. You know, obviously, this is the pack that makes up for when everybody comes out. Hence the, the rookie debut. And I'm already seeing some shine in my back here. So we're actually going to pull something out of here. Get, you, get centered here. Just going through the base cards. No... Base is not super exciting, but, and there's a lot of it because, like I said, 67 cards. There's around 60 of it is going to be base cards. And a good chunk of that's going to be rookie and rookie debut. I mean, it's not the most of it, obviously, but quite a bit of it. Claudio Clavis, of course, he's not with the uh, Orioles anymore. And we have a turnaround Bobby Dahlback. This would be the the uh, 92 Redux. And this is pretty cool. We ended up pulling a Bobby Dahlback Rookie Chrome 92. So this, I think this is roughly 1 in 6 or 1 in 8 to pull this. So you're not going to pull a 92 Topps Chrome out of each one. But much like the last time I opened this one, the very next card is a black gold. This time, black gold of Mookie Betts. So I can get some light on it to show. These are such pretty cards. Uh, seeing it in person is much better than seeing it on stream. But these are very, very nice cards. Oh, speaking of... Rookie of the Year, here's Randy Rosarena, the American League Rookie of the Year. Of course, they don't have the Rookie Cup on his or uh, on his card, but that's okay. He still got the honors. I think he played twenty nine all or twenty nine playoff games and still made Rookie of the Year. Here's another one of those ninety two uh, uh, Redux cards. Now this is the exact same card as we got from the Chrome. This is Bobby Dahlback. And of course, Mike Trout. Don't need to talk about who he is. Rookie Nate Pearson. And rookie Christian Pache. So, very nice. Three rookies and a... And a, probably a soon be... Or not soon, but... Future Hall of Famer. Now from here on, this should probably all be base. Of course, obviously we go through. Let's see if we find any 
There's Panda. Got his fourth World Series ring this year. And Charlie Morton. Pitched that first game in the World Series and took a fastball to the leg. That was was pretty sad. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No, I won't. I love it when my devices talk to me. Tyler Stevenson's rookie debut. Frank Hauser. Not a lot of rookies in this back half. This is actually kind of a strange pack because usually there's a ton of rookies in this. But I'll show you the stacks when we're done. And this one's been this one's been a little bit light. All right, uh, one more card, and that would be Eric Gonzalez. So, do a quick recap. This was a this was a pretty fast trip. So, base non rookies, basically there's that's the stack we have. Didn't count them because I never do. But that's the stack of the base non rookies. The stack of the rookies, again, this is not, this one's a little bit uncommon. Um, usually there's a little bit more than this when you come from rookies. But we definitely got some, we definitely got plenty of rookie cards here. None of the big ones that we were looking for, you know, the Andrew Vaughns, Jared Kalanix, I uh, think Jonathan India. And then we got, you know, just a few, or what's that, four rookie debuts so this this pack was very light in the rookies but what it was good in you know you did get the 492 redux which you always get for this time you know you had mike trout and three newbies behind him including pache and bobby dahlback we did get our one 1986 version which you'll get one of these each time. Of course, this is the Rookie of the Year for American League, Randy Rosarena. We did get a Topps Chrome, which is a little rarer hit, but this is the Topps Chrome 92 Redux, this time of uh, rookie Bobby Dahlback. And then finally, the prettiest card of all, of course, I like Chrome, but I really like these black gold. And this time it's black gold of Mookie Betts. Now this one is the base Mookie. I have pulled a variation of this before with Alec Bohm. Um, a blue border one. Which is a parallel. There's there's actually quite a few parallels to these. But regardless, these are very, very pretty cards. So that's it for this rip. Again, not a super exciting rip. Um, definitely got some, got some good cards. Uh, definitely moving forward in the collection. Got some good rookies and a few rookie debuts, but you always look for the rookies more than the debuts, but they're all nice. So hope you like this. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notify bell so you get notified when I put more up. Um, I typically put these up at 8 a.m. Eastern every day, so if you don't want to you know, be notified by the bell, at least you know when I put them up. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And of course, as always, appreciate any feedback in the comment section below. I love answering comments. Look forward to doing this with you again. I hope you enjoyed it. And until then, bye now.